Hey guys, Jake, Jake Back Knives. Uh, just wanted to do a quick widget on how to do a palette change on a kit of mirror. Um, I'm running the uh, Fnook 16IM controller. Um, took me a little while to figure out how to do this and how to program it. Um, you know, I use HSM works for my programming. And uh, sorry, you hear the ratcheting in the background. We got some guys doing some weird things today. Uh, but it took me a little while to figure out how to do uh, the uh, rotation on the palette and then how to program it into my programming. So I figured I'd just show you real quick. Um, so, mind the hydraulic noise now. So, now that your uh, you know, e stop is pulled, you're in MDI mode. You go to program. And that brings you up to uh, your main programming screen. All you have to do is type in M60 and a block insert. Hit cycle start. Then your movable button down below will flash. You hit that button in your palette. Window will open. And your palette will come out. Um, so pretty straightforward, pretty easy to do that. So again, you just come in here, it's all done. You just type in M60 and a block insert. Cycle start. Then your button will flash. And your uh, macro for your palette change will come up. It reads through it, lifts the uh, window, calls up table two, which is M62, confirms that Table two is in there and swaps the pallets. Uh, heading over to the computer, I'll give you an idea of how you can program that. Uh, so right now I have got a uh, program where I needed to do a pallet change so that I can insert some screws into some parts before I part off the tabs. So it's really simple. Um, M60 is your command for a pallet change. You add two M60s, and that what that will do is it will uh, flash the light on the top of the machine to come over and hit the pallet change button. You hit the pallet change, pallet will swap out. You put your screws in, and it'll be flash. The machine will be flashing again to uh, do hit the pallet change button. So when you're done installing your screws, you hit the pallet change button again. It goes back inside, and it just kind of goes along its merry way. Now, if you want it to pallet change when you're done with the program or at the beginning of the program, uh, and including in the middle of the program, one thing that you do have to add, um, and I'm sure you could probably add this as a maybe a drop down in your post processor so that it can just you can select it automatically or something in HSM works. I'm not sure how to do that. Autodesk guys, if you want to tell me how to do this automatically, that'd be amazing. But at any rate, you have to add your M109 in here because if not, your coolant will just stay on um, because it's just kind of in the middle of a tool change here. Um, so I add an M109, it shuts off the coolant because I've got through spindle coolant and it's, uh, yeah, it's crazy when that turns on and the, the, uh, the pallet change window starts to open and sprays everywhere. So I M109 it, pallet change, do my thing, pallet change back, and then it all starts back up here. Um, you can see I have some duplicate M109. That's just post processor things. I just it, M109s for the flood coolant and an M109s for the through spindle coolant because um, you know, it's an add-on. But something that you can do, and going back to the top, um, here's all my tools. Right at the beginning here, if you have if you're loading parts and you want. The, you want to the first thing that happen is do a pallet change to put your parts into the machine if you just go right after this G90 and type in an M60 oops gotta actually type in 60 there uh, what will happen is when you hit cycle start it'll immediately do a pallet change and then it will start facing on or doing your uh, like this facing operation um, I don't want to do that at the moment but then also at the end of your program if you want to pallet change so that it brings it out after your G90 you can just go M60 um, typically I'll do a M09 
ammo five here just to be certain uh, it does it already uh, I just like to have a little bit of extra safety factor there sometimes if you call out the m60 it won't shut the spindle off I don't know if that's kid mirror glitch or whatever but you know I just do it just because you know it makes my life easier uh, so yeah voila I uh, hopefully that helps somebody out and uh, good luck let me know if you have any questions or anything in the comments I'll try to answer it I'm no g-code wizard but uh, I think I've got it handled so far palette changes uh, work pretty flawlessly for me one of the few things that does <laughs> all right guys hope you're having a great day god bless